for Hardcore Boxing News back at you with what's happening in the world of boxing today. Good evening. No, I don't think it's evening time yet. I think it's good morning. It all just turns to just one blur to me. Just one blur at this point, man. Good to see everybody in the building. If you're hearing the sound of my voice right now, let me know that God is allowed to have the same opportunity that he given to me. And that's to uh, have another great day to get it right. Another great day to get it right. Will we get it right today? That is the question. That is the question. How many of you all actually have the answer to it? How many of you all are actually better than you were yesterday? That is so important, and we will find out because only you will know. That's the beautiful thing about it. It's between you and God. Let me turn my fan on. My fan rolling. Let me get my coffee. Hey, feel like Mr. Rogers in the neighborhood right now, man. Well, you be my neighbor. Oh, yeah. Put on good shoes and a good sweater like the Rogers used to do. And some of y'all remember Mr. Rogers, some of y'all don't. Yeah, it's a dating. Well, who the first one in the building? First one in the building. Wait a minute. It ain't it got it too high. First one in the building is Naeem the Dream. Cousin Pete, if you will. He said, You mean the face of boxing getting the runner up? But the face of boxing? <laughs> okay, King. Okay. Naeem the Dream. Okay. Mike Rim. It's him. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to you, Mike Rim. Good to see you, my brethren. Always a pleasure, man, to see you in the building, my guy. GPZ. What you doing in here so early? Normally you be, uh, you know, rolling the cheering around. Oh, what I'm thinking about. You ain't got to do that. You ain't got to play all the kids are on spring break. Duh. I should know that means though I got a few in my own. He said, yo, 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 what do you do, Hawkeye family? Shout out to JBT Network. Shout out, shout out, shout out. All righty, okay. All right, we got my brother, my double mother in here, Tim Layton. He said, what it do, what it is, what it shall be. He said, good morning, Jay Hardcore and the family. JBT in the building, you better believe it. Uh-oh, trouble. <laughs> we got the Rise Podcast, Ash JBT in the building. He said, good morning to my Hardcore family. Good morning to you, senior. Good to see you Uh Again, we got Marvin McDowell up in here this morning. Good morning, brother Marvin. Good to see you. Appreciate you coming through. He said, good morning, brother Jay. Appreciate you, my brother. Appreciate you a lot. Yes, indeed. Who else? Tampa Tommy in the building, y'all. Up doing his uh, workout thing. I'm on sure we got people, you know, getting them right, getting them straight, getting them ready, getting them back to go, getting them summer bodies together. And them summer bodies together, if you will. Yeah, spring break. Yeah, it hit, it hit me in the last minute. I'm like, yeah, the kids on spring break. Thomas Hill up early this morning, man. It's 5.16 where he at. 5.16 in the morning. I still have to go up that early, man. I'm like, good. He's my Christmas. Appreciate you, brother. My dad's a day. My phone at Thomas Hill. BJ salute to you. He says, salute J and the peoples. Good to see everybody. Uh, let's also salute to the mighty boys. You know who you are. Salute to uh, the Twitter folks or X or whatever y'all call it. Damn thing. X. Yeah, it's X. It's a over there. Ain't it? And uh, who else we got? Uh, we got the Twitch crew, salute to Twitch, salute to Instagram. Oh, 
speaking of Instagram, let's bring them in. That would probably help a little bit. Oh, I see the scene does it so smoothly. That he done brought you gonna have to teach me that because I don't understand it at all. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna get some figmentation. You know I am. Yeah, 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 you gonna have to ask him about that because I don't get no understanding. I got everything I can be seen and everything. Yeah, I can't even get right right now. I can't get right. <laughs> Maybe I need to call can't get right, right? I don't know because I should have ain't got it correct. I don't have correct the mundo here. Still working on getting them in the field. I'm about to say fudge it. I'm about to say fudge it in a minute. Let me try one more again. Instagram. Hit Instagram, okay? Hit share. Okay. Go here. Right now, I was about to say fudge it. Right now, I was about to say fudge it. It's time to work, I think. Come on, Jay. All right, there we go. There we go. That's just too much to go through, man. That morning, hey, seriously. They need to get some grid to speak up, man. All the other channels, as soon as I come on, they come. Got a whole bunch of different stuff, man, with, with, with Instagram. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Let me go to the. Uh, so I can see things a little bit better. He said bad video feed. We got bad. We got. I don't know why. I tell you what. Let's refresh it and see if it changes anything. Thank Yes, but hopefully that's a little bit better. Hit Rio. Here we go. Looks like it's a little bit better, man. I don't know. Hopefully that's better for you all. I'm looking at it on my screen. Look a little bit better. But uh, I don't know why it's coming. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know why it's coming and looking like that. But hey, what's the computer love about this whole thing? How about that? Something, right? Okay, it looks like it's a little bit better, but not a lot better. I'm not liking what's going on. Some, some figuration of what's going on. D Town Funk, what it do? D Town Funk in the building. I'm going to check some other things that I don't understand why my wife is doing some boogie boogie right now. You know, no reason for us when I'm the only one on right now. I'm the only one. Work so hard man, to figure out this stuff, man. Trying to work in a better system. I don't understand why things look at what they're getting and they're not looking good. I am not happy about that at all. Not looking good at all. My goodness, man. Let 
I want to tell y'all, man. Uh, I don't know why the signal's coming out the way it's coming out, but it ain't. Nah, and the queen is not your connection. It's definitely my, it's my connection. I don't understand. She's trying to load and hopefully get a better uh, signal, man. Yeah, it looks better right now, and hopefully it stays like that. I love you, Aunt McQueen. It definitely means hopefully uh, we got some water. I don't understand why it's acting up. You know, it might be the neighbor, man. The dear brothers come again. Might be the neighbors. They 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 hate me, man. They just don't get no kickback no more. So, you know, I think they be sneaking on to my property and got them away and stuff, man. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure what's really going on. Because what's so crazy is <clears throat> I'm the only one that's on Wi-Fi right now. Just me. That's it. So I definitely got to bring uh, Bland the company. <clears throat> hopefully, uh, hopefully things get better. Patty, I did all I can do. Yeah. Can't do no more. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, and uh, as you see the topic and title, Clarence Crawford approved by BBO to fight the winner of the war versus uh very interesting fight. I had you slice of the dice. That Crawford will be coming up to another weight class, man, to uh, try to recap to that, that, that vision as well. Imagine that Crawford can go to 154 and somehow pull off undisputed. Well, let me tell you, if Crawford pulls that off, we definitely got to have a goat talk. We're going to have to have a goat talk, man, because the man that went to, th well, let's so fight him in the two different weight divisions and became undisputed. So it ain't an easy uh, uh, thing to happen. So, so, so if he can pull it off a third time, that's heavy. He said, Bud, Fight Fan 65, welcome, brother. Welcome. He said, Bud needs to go see the Saudi dude. He can make any fight Crawford wants. Man, I can't argue with that so far, man, because it seems like they're doing whatever fights they want to make happen. They're making it happen. You got no argument from me on that one. Get her done. Get her done. Get her done. Look like the Wi Fi is starting to uh, get some. Uh, Act right, man. Look like we got a little act right now, man. You dig? We 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 went through a little turbulence. We think we went through a little turbulence. Speaking of turbulence, man, I pray for my mom. She's on a flight right now, on her way back here uh, from uh, California, and I pray that God encamps His heavenly angels around her plane. And that God be the uh, pilot of the plane and that he gets my mother safe back to uh, Maryland soil. So uh, I, I pray that she gets back safely, man. You know, that's my that's my ride or die right there that my mom, she did. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing her. Senior. Hey. What are you doing, senior? Why are you doing a bunch of FaceTimes in the middle of the show? 
you might have to hit you with one of these. You want you want this one or you want this one? Let me know which one you want, senior. Going FaceTime. How you gonna FaceTime while the hangout on, man? What you got going on? Fight Fan 65 say you back in business, my brother. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Fight Fan 65. I aim to please, man. You paid all this extra money so that we can have better Wi-Fi. You dig? So we can bring you a better experience. So I expect nothing, nothing less, especially when I I I, I spend my hard-earned do re mi fossil la ti, and you tell me I got the best Wi-Fi that you all have to offer. So I expect nothing less. He said, did you cover my albino fighter, Kermel Moten? <laughs> First of all, we want to uh, welcome Jeremiah, Jeremiah, our albino king. We want to welcome him to the Hardcore Hangout. We're just a bunch of hardcore degenerates that get together and talk about the beautiful sport we love called boxing. We got only one rule around here, Jeremiah. No hidden below the belt. That means we don't talk about nobody's mom up in here. Other than that, everything else is fair game. We want to welcome our Jeremiah, our, ben, our Bino King to the hangout. Y'all make sure y'all give him a good uh, accordion welcome. Let him know we are the cheers of boxing where everybody knows your name. Salute to you, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Uh, Edward Moore, salute to you, my guy. Good to see you. He said, can't get right, boss. <laughs> right, 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 right. For sure. But, yeah, man, uh, Bud is going to get the winner, man. He's going to be sitting around for a minute. Just keep in mind, that fight's this weekend. So that means it's going to be another three months if they would just go straight into another camp. You, they, they're going to they're gonna take a month off. Then two month camp, eight week camp. So uh what what month is this? March, April, May, April, May, June. So we probably looking at that fight in July. Is Canelo versus Bud ever a possibility? I'ma tell you one thing. If Bud goes to 154 and do damaging things. I think that makes the fight against Canelo more not likely. More not likely. I mean, it's right up his alley, bringing somebody up three, four weight classes or whatever. You dig, but uh, I don't know. You know, Crawford might be just a different, different one, man, because uh, if he goes to 54 and becomes undisputed at 154, that's three different weight classes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to have a good conversation at that point about, about old Budrick, man. Keeping it real. He say, boss, he ain't working. <laughs> Got some snitchment working there. Hey, cups up, man. Got it. I know if y'all want to know if I got, yeah, yeah, I got, I'm strapped. I'm strapped. Yeah, I'm strapped. <laughs> got the good honey bunnets right there beside me. You did. Yeah, I'm scrap. Showtime, the guy. Good morning, hardcore. Good morning, everybody in the hangout. Good morning, Showtime. Good to see you, my brethren. Miss Jamila, how you doing, little sis? Yeah, they say I got it. I got it on me. I got it on me. <laughs> Y'all horrible, man. He said, need a little sugar to get those synapses fired. See, only Ed McQueen talks about synapses. You did? Only him. <laughs> for that to even be in his cranium, you did? Just too damn smart for his own damn kind, Jack. A little glue close. You better believe it. You better believe it, man. Miss Jamila said, hello to everybody. Hello, good little sis. Know you're on your way to school. You have a fab tabless day today, little sis. Yes, indeed. Jamila for president. I'm down for it. I'm down for it, little sis. You could be whatever you want to be. And we behind you for sure. Without a doubt. 
<laughs> I was just watching the, uh, the other day. They got a uh, show on Netflix about Shirley Chisholm. Very good, man. Y'all get a chance. Check that out. Very good movie about uh, her when she was running for president. Yeah, a lot of y'all don't know that, but yeah, she ran for president, man. And uh, she was giving, yeah, she was giving them a little uh, run for their money as well. So you get a chance, check that out. I watched it this week. Excellent, excellent film. Excellent film, man. Without a doubt. To leave Cunningham, what it do, what it is, what it shall be. I need to know what it is right now. For show, sure, for show, sure, for show. Sure. Yeah, definitely good to be back in the building. We got Crawford talking about the winner of Zoo. We got Zoo already talking about they in negotiations with Crawford now. Like they just straight paying fun door. No, never mind. Like he don't even exist. Man, I, I just hope that Fundor just reach into his bag of goodies, man, and uh understand the disrespect that is he's receiving right now because everybody's on the triangle theory you know what i mean he got stopped by mendoza you know what i'm saying and uh zoo went the dis distance with mendoza but he beat him you know so everybody's just just looking at uh fun door like he chopped meat it is what it is man so uh you know, stuff like that can be motivating. Can't be motivating. Right, right, Fight Fan 65. He is still dangerous. That is so important, man. Any man with, yeah, 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 with, with two of these are dangerous, man. And, and he's a six foot five, man. Yeah, he definitely got the physical attributes, man, to uh, make things very difficult. If he chooses. Now, in all intents and purposes, uh, I still believe that Fondora is not going to be able to win this, you know, but, you know, anything is possible. A puncher's chance is possible. You know, I, I just think that he gives up. He, he gives up too much of his size to his opponent, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's just how I feel about it, man. He gives up his physical attributes, man. You dig? Uh, he loves fighting inside. And just for a guy that that's huge that he is, man, I'm impressed that he has a nasty inside game. And, and he's, man, you remember what what you call him look like? After the fight, I'm talking about Lubin, man. He gave Lubin a uh, facelift. Lubin didn't even look like himself afterwards, man. So don't act like, you know, he it, it, it can't be done. Anything can be done. Boxing Dad, salute to you, my guy. Appreciate you. Anything is definitely possible, man. You know, uh, Zoo is Zoo is on his shit though, man. I'm gonna be on his stuff. Forgive me. Zoo is on his stuff right now. He's <laughs> Aunt McQueen said, "Yeah, he looked like he had a Halloween mask on, man. He disfigured that brother. He made when Martin fought Hearns, he made Martin look good. Yo." He turned that dude into a uh, a, 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 a a troll or a little monster or something, the way he looked. I didn't even, you couldn't even tell me that was the same guy. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely uh, uh, Fundora can be a surgeon when he wants. Yeah, 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 because he definitely did plastic surgery on Lubin. Yeah, yeah, it was. It, you're right, and it was a rough fight, extremely rough, man. And uh, man, but I tell you what, I'm tell you what, 
I am looking forward to this fight this weekend. Let me slow down my rocket, man. Yeah, I was watching somebody else that did the rock on their show, but they didn't rock side to side. They rock forward and backwards. Yeah, they look like they on a short bus. I'm glad I don't rock for, forward and backwards, Jack. But I'm going to try to work on not going side to side. But I told you there's only two places that happened to me. That's in church and in here. And the only two places I rock. I don't rock no any other time at all. And it used to be just one place, and that would be in church. I used to rock when that spirit get up in me. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, I'm going to try to be more conscious of it because I was watching another guy that was doing the rock. Like I said, and he was going back and going forward, doing a show. And I'm like, damn, okay. <laughs> Uncle Dre used to always say, stop the rocket. Uncle Dre finally he said, stop rocking, boy. You look special. <laughs> Dre gonna tell you like it is, boy. He's talking about you look special. <laughs> I am special, dude. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. So, yeah, I'm gonna try not to look like short bus shorty on here, man. <laughs> Y'all know I joke about myself and everybody else, man. <laughs> like I'm doing a short bus special. <laughs> Call me in my helmet. <laughs> hey, I'm not doing this with y'all this morning. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I ain't going to do it. I won't do it. <laughs> Bad boy for life. <laughs> yo, what's going on with your man Diddy? They said, yo, I'm going to tell you what, though. Diddy did with most uh drug dealers and all them other type of cats man that you know when they finally bum down on you i always used to say why you you had all that money why didn't you just leave why you ain't just leave what diddy did diddy don diddy out of here they say why diddy joint was being uh, uh raided diddy it took a, a plane to uh the caribbeans and they said where the plane touched down that there's no extradition rights at all at all they said diddy is ghost they said that he sold his uh rights to the uh revolt you know he owns that revolt you know drink drink water champ and all that stuff yeah, they say he sold all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, Diddy showing Diddy, Diddy, Diddy showing him his niggerism right now. He like, catch me if you can. I'm the gingerbread man, man. Yeah, yeah. He done moved to an island and took a bunch of boys with him. Stop it, Jay. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Yo, Diddy out of here. Five OG. Diddy then got on his private plane and went ghost. Mike Rim said they got Diddy and they released him. Oh, yeah? Okay. I'll just go about what I read today. So Diddy, Diddy uh, dashed on to, uh, what did he say, Cape Verde or someplace like that. Diddy said, I'm taking a little extensive trip to the Caribbean. Catch me if you can. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. Yeah, news is crazy right now. Uh, for you all that's wondering about the, uh, the bridge situation that we got here in Baltimore, uh, from what I understand, last night, uh, investigators went and secured the black box off of the ship. They secured the black box off the ship and a few other uh, artifacts or whatever. And they supposed to be going back on it today to start of pulling other things off of it. Uh, they also say that the over there is shut down. There are ships that are sitting in the water right now that can't get back to port. 
which is just sitting there. Yeah. Also, they were talking about a few people that are sit, still missing. The couple of Guatemalans that they said they can't find. It was like two. Then it was another guy. It seemed like everybody that they're talking about they can't find. Uh, uh, Latino uh, descent. That's what I'm from. What I've been reading so far. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on right now. Uh, they're trying to figure out how to get some figmentation out of all of this and how they can get the ports back open. They're saying that this can really mess up import and export. You know, getting things here. You know what I'm saying? I know the people that got their stuff that's on that boat that crashed into the uh, 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 bridge. I know they like, damn. Yeah, that stuff stuck like Chuck, Jack. You never know when that stuff might come back out. It is what it is. Uh, more news. From what I understand, Boots has won his case. Boots has won his case against uh, Cameron Duncan's wife. Uh, they are supposed to be settling out of court. Yeah, but he, he Boots is considered a uh, free agent now. Yeah, Boots is considered a free agent now to do what he wants to do. If I was to bet my $1 on what's next for Boots, this would what it would be. I believe that Boots signs with PBC and that he ends up on the Canelo undercard. That's just my opinion. You can run with it or don't. Yes, indeedy. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get that from anybody. That's just what I think is going to happen. I think Boots signs with PBC, and I think that he will be on the Canelo undercard as the cold man. I guess we got to watch and find out, though. But, yeah. If anything, I think he'll be fighting Coley Crowley if Coley Crowley answers the call for the mandatory. That's what I feel about all of that. Remo! Remo up in the building. What's up? Let's talk fashion. GP, he says, division. What it do, Remo? Thomas Morris, I like that. He says, time for boots to shine. How about that? I like that. I like that. Time for the boots to shine. Yeah, 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 yeah. One thing about boots, boy. Yeah, yeah, he, he be putting them. Yeah, I ain't going to say it. I ain't going to say it. Dimitri Bright, what it do? Salute to you. Morning salute to you. Yes, indeed. You got old Jay Rockefeller over here with my rock. Yeah, <laughs> old Rockefeller. Yes, indeed. Like I said, I'm glad I'm not. I don't got the back and forward rock though. <laughs> hey, station break me if you got your good cup of coffee, man. I gotta find my glasses because I'm telling you, I'm like squinching, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jay Rockefeller. <laughs> J.O. <laughs> Thomas say Mexicans got boots on. Oh, man. Yeah, but it seems like everybody they're looking for it is in Latino descent, man. So I don't know what they, uh, people that were actually were working on the uh, ship when it crashed or what. And they haven't mentioned anything about any cars that were on the uh, bridge when it collapsed. I haven't heard anything about that. So we waiting. We definitely waiting. All right. I tell you what, let's find out what's happening in the world of boxing today. Can I tell y'all something funny? This is when you know you, you, you're getting old and forgetful. 
ready to go on and do the show and everything this morning, right? To find out, I never even set the show up. I started, but never finished it. All that time, I thought that, you know, the show was set up on StreamYard and everything. Not so. At 8 o'clock, ready to jump on on time and everything. To find out, I never set the show up at all. I tell you, y'all, we... <laughs> Enjoy your young time, Jack. Enjoy your young time because you'll you, you get older and you can just get to doing the blunderous stuff, man. I just knew I was ratty, ratty on time and everything. Check and realize, yo, you never set the show up. Nothing, anything. I had the uh, everything in my phone ready, but I never assembled it on stream yard so then i'm scrambling at eight o'clock to get everything set up so hey it is what it is the good thing is that uh we're here now we're here now and we're doing our thing and i just thank y'all for just putting up with the old coot He said, I write out messages all the time and forget to hit send. Yeah, it seems like it's easier to do that now. I don't know if uh, Apple did something different now. Because I, I I I seem to do that a lot too, GPZ. Thinking I done sent messages out and they just be sitting there. Sitting there for show. Without a doubt. But I, but one thing I can say, I slept well last night. Look, I didn't even eat dinner last night. I just went straight upstairs, had a honey bun, though. Then I crashed. I crashed out. I crashed out, and I woke up at uh, 7.01, maybe, something like that. But we're here. But I tell you what, let's find out what's happening in the world of boxing today. Let's see if there's anything new going on. It's hump day, y'all. Oh, y'all know what that means. If it's a Wednesday, if it's Wednesday, yeah, 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 yeah. My favorite fashion show is coming on at 10 o'clock. I'm talking Let's Talk Fashion with our guy Remo, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's supposed to have a comedian on there today, y'all. So we might have to we might have to heckle him if he ain't funny. If he ain't funny, we might have to heckle him. Yeah, they, yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody exempt. But yeah, make sure at 10 o'clock today that you all check out Let's Talk Fashion with our guy Remo. You dig powered by the JBT, man. So uh, uh don't miss that. Don't miss that. Matter of fact, we're going to make sure we close early. I'm at to close early anyway because I got to get on the road so I can get uh, me mama. Go pick up me mama. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to get on the road early because I don't know exactly what they got going on on these 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 uh, streets due to that uh, accident that we had on the Key Bridge. So I don't know what the reroutment and everything looks like around that way. So uh, we will see. Yeah, because I got to go down to BWI. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I'll probably get off of here around 9.30. Yeah, I'll probably get off around 9.30. So I can... Uh, Go grab up mama song. You did. All right. So what's happening in the world of boxing today? Derek James hints at riff with Earl Spence Jr. Focus on other charges. Okay. So I guess something he might have said on the uh, uh, cigar interview. 
I haven't had a chance to watch that yet. I, I know some of you all have. Uh, UCAD and BBBC reportedly win appeal to lift Ben's suspension. Okay. Kind of Ben's suspension is being lifted, y'all. I know you all are so excited about that because I know y'all been clamoring every day to me, wondering to know when Connor Ben's suspension will be lifted. Well, there you go. It's lifted. Are you excited? <laughs> Elijah Pierce hoping to win over Arthur Venezuela. We'll set up Neo anyway fight. Okay. Okay, Elijah Pierce. Mikhail Lawa wants pleasant surprise to extend win over Vidal Riley. With a community behind him, Abel Magia hopes to become LA's next star. Ian Green and Roy Berringer headlines on April 27th. Don King card in Miami. Jordan Pantheon, fresh off of sparring with Tim Zhu, set for April 4th return. Joseph Adorno and Nicholas Waters preview and prediction. Terrence Crawford to retain WBA, WBO welterweight title ahead of junior middleweight title tilt. Terrence Crawford to retain WBO welterweight title ahead of junior middleweight title tilt. Okay. That's how he's able to be able to fight the winner of Zoo versus uh, 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 Fondor. Gilberto Ramirez wants to build a bridge to boxing for Mexican fighters. <laughs> build a bridge. <laughs> I better talk to Trump about that first. <laughs> I had to do it. Thomas Lamada says to face Johan Gonzalez June the 8th in his backyard of Atlantic City. Rolando Ramirez vows to become the first fighter to stop Isak Cruz. Okay, I remember talking about that last night. Let's check one more place to see if there are any other uh, news that we haven't covered yet. Devin Haney promises easy work against Ryan Garcia. Leonard Ellaby talks up Frank Martin, but remains cagey about tank fight. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, they are getting that from. Ah, conversation that they had with Fight Hub TV. I thought it was the interview that they had with the rise but this is interview from fight hub tv hmm okay all righty what what's next what's next what's next is tim zoo boxing's next big star guess we'll find out this weekend will the zoo continue on doing what zoo does we will see this weekend. All righty. Other than that, that's all that we have. Uh, the next thing was something that we already uh, spoke on last night. That was Benavidez and Groves Knicks and where the results can take them. Exactly. So, uh, hey, man. Uh, hey, y'all know this, this uh, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul event. You know, Jake Paul is the, uh, yeah, the head. Yeah, they got Paul versus, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. It's not Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. Paul is the leading guy. 
Now I've heard that Paul supposed to be getting 30 million and Tyson supposed to be getting 20 million. Well, Paul, get this now. Paul is the headline. Jake Paul is the headline. A YouTuber name is over Mike Tyson, a legend. Can't make this stuff up, man. Social media has taken over. To see Jake Paul name over Mike Tyson name is just a blower to me. Lamarcus Robinson, salute to you. Melon Queen 27, salute to you, good sis. Right, Booger, our Booger's in the building. That's total nonsense. That's blasphemy if you want to. I don't care how you look at it. Jake Paul name over Mike Tyson name is blasphemy. I don't care how you look at it. Yeah. Yeah, social media, man. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't who you are. Well, I guess it is who you are. Damn. Damn, Jake Paul name over Mike Tyson. Y'all digest on that real quick, man. I'm a little bothered about that. How is Jake Paul? Do he have a total of six or seven fights yet? Already got a loss on his record. How is his name over Mike Tyson? Damn. That's a blower. I don't know if it's blowing y'all like it's blowing me. And and, and no diddy. How about that? <laughs> I kind of like that better than Paul's. <laughs> Since the Diddy man is trending heavy, I'm blown, man. I'm blown to see Jake Paul name over Mike Tyson. I guess I had heard it, but to actually see it was a blower. <laughs> right. I'm blown. No daddy. <laughs> Y'all got me on silly mode, Jack. Yo, just how huge is this kid, man? I guess no diddy again, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut it out, yeah. I'm gonna cut it out. Tampa Tommy said Jake Paul name is associated with big. Okay. Recent events. Mike hasn't been on fight scene. I don't give a damn. That's Mike. He's a non, he's synonymous with boxing. You can't talk boxing and Mike Tyson doesn't come up eventually. <laughs> GPs, he say, stop, Jay. Yo, I'm serious, man. I'm blown about this. What has Jake Paul done for his name to be over Mike Tyson's name? I wait for the answer. Matter of fact, I'm going to put the free smoke line on because somebody's going to have to bring me some understanding of this one. Yo, I'm going to need some understanding. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody gonna have to explain this one to me. Is how is Jake Paul name bigger than Mike Tyson? He said Mike is who he is to us old people in boxing head, but Jake's more popular among the young. Hey, even the young and the casuals 
know who Mike Tyson is. He's like Godzilla, King Kong, the legend, man. You never forget about Godzilla. You never forget about King Kong. You never, ever. I don't care. They transcend during time, and Mike Tyson does as well. But obviously, somewhere, somehow, some fashion, some way, in this crazy social media world, Jake Paul is the money. Jake Paul is the money. Jake Paul is the money. So we got a conundrum at this point, man. What happens if Jake Paul beats Mike Tyson? But then what happens to Jake Paul if Mike Tyson beats Jake Paul? Or do they hit us with another, it's a draw? I'm begging for the third one. They're probably going to hit us with, it's a draw. Because neither one of the brands want to take a hit. Neither one of the brands want to take a hit. Mike Tyson is seriously doing his thing right now. Yo, taxes are straight. Making buku money with the uh, uh, marijuana game. Got his own podcast that does numbers. You digs showing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, so Mike is doing his thing. So you can't let the brand take a hit by getting beat by a YouTuber. It is what it is. But then you got the YouTuber. I think Jake Paul can take more of a hit than Mike Tyson can. Because Jake, he young. He's supposed to get beat by the veteran Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's showing them a big respect with the tattoo, with him showing up with a tiger, emulating everything that Mike Tyson says, you know, and him saying that he just want to feel what it feel like to get hit with Mike by Mike Tyson. The understanding that I'm getting is that they're wearing 18 ounce gloves, not even 16. They wearing 18. Yeah, 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 yeah. They wearing balloons, man. Yeah, so, 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 so. I, I don't know. I want to know how y'all feel about it. Y'all know how I feel about it. I done did a video and told Jake Paul. I know he done seen it. Because it done got over 7,000 views now. So it's being seen in these YouTube streets. And it's being shared. Of me telling Jake Paul if he do whip Mike Tyson, every old man in the world gonna bum down on you, Jack. Yes, indeed. Right, eighteen ounces, booger. Eighteen ounces. Thirty-six ounces of fluff up against your head. No diddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I just don't get it. I 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 don't get it. But I'm gonna put the free smoke line on, man. So because I know that the hangout gonna bring me some understanding. The hangout gonna bring me some understanding, man. So uh let me I guess I never did. I never do the Instagram. I guess not. Because it's show sure not showing. Okay. We're not going to trip. Sorry, Instagram, that we didn't do this thing together today. I'm putting the free smoke line on, man, because uh, y'all going to have to help me out with this one. Y'all going to have to help me because I got no understanding of it. Somebody bring me some uh some 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 act right to this one, man. Somebody help me out. Cause I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Explain this to me. 
Talk to me. Talk to me. I need to know why Jake Paul name is, even if he's making the most money, I still feel, though, that he could have humbled himself and let Mike Tyson name be the first. I don't think sales would have changed any different. I think it would have stayed the same. I mean, that's just how I feel about it. Bruce has and more. Talk to me quick before I forget. It's your boy Hardcore. Who is this? What's going on, man? It's Remo, aka Mr. Versprez. AKA King of Casual. Mr. Nine Hundred. King of Fashion. Uh, Let me get my uh, shield out. King of Fashion <laughs> from Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> What's going on? Good morning. Good morning. Did, did I say the king of fashion? Did I say it? Yes, you did. Did I say it? I knew I did knew so I knew as soon as I heard it the other day, I was never not gonna continue on hearing it. I knew that. The king, the king, not the prince, the king. <laughs> king or king? Which one? Nah, that was the king. I don't know. I'm the king. The king. The king. The king. K-I-N-G. No king. King, nope. The king. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> much obliged. But listen, man. Listen, man. You my, you my old head, man. Right? Oh. Right? right? No, no. Y'all got to realize. No, I'm not. Listen. The millennials... The Gen Zs, they know Mike Tyson for as the, the, the crazy guy that cries on camera, <laughs> the tattoo on his face, and he was in the hangover. Smokes a lot of weed, and then he starts crying. That's what they know him for. They don't know him for being youngest undisputed and youngest heavyweight champion in the world. They don't even know who Customato is. Mm. Neither do they care. Mm. So what you gotta realize is, as good and as much as Mike Tyson has been doing recently, mm-hmm. he's now getting his head above water. Mm-hmm. He's now being seen in the light of, you know, what I mean, he's making his money back. Mm-hmm. But Mike ain't really got money like that. Mm-hmm. Really? Let's be honest. Mm-hmm. Right now, he's estimated at ten million. Right? His net worth. Right, is that what they saying? Is that what is that what they saying? Yeah, and Jake Paul's approximately anywhere between seventeen and thirty million. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So what we gotta realize is he's giving him an opportunity, and this is a circus show. Mm-hmm. Let's be real. This is circus show because everybody was complaining. Oh. Jake Paul is making a mockery this set the floor, but he's getting paid more of these guys because he's more entertaining. He's providing entertainment for the fans. The what? same matchmakers that they have in boxing, they can line up the same type of fights to make these, these fighters look excited. Fighters going in there, they're not giving the fans entertainment. And I told you, the hardcore fans who are upset with this, they are only a very small niche market when it comes to financial dependency for things to run on the world. It's only about 300 of y'all hardcore. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 300,000, that is. It's <laughs> okay. It's, it's, it's only about 300,000. Okay. okay. 300,000. Okay. I, you first you said 300. I'm like, damn. No, no. 300,000, 300, 300,000. So you got a 300,000, you got, you got the Mexicans involved with that, you got the Americans, and then you got the, the people in Europe. And then you divide that number mm-hmm. into who you like and who you don't like, and I hate this person, I don't want to see this person, the number drops lower. Mm-hmm. So just take it as entertainment. Mm-hmm. Take it as though Mike is going to get a check. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody was just walking and giving him $20 million. Come on now. His net worth is, is less than that. 
Ah oh, man, nobody know like what his people. real network is. They ain't giving up your real money these days. They ain't showing nothing. Listen, listen if, if 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 that's what's being presented, it's the number that he's receiving is still higher than that. Mm. Right or wrong? Can we agree? And gradually, gradually agreeing. Okay, let's let's go further. Now, if you started a, let's say, let's say, let's take the JBT fence. That's right. Okay. It. ESPN coming, mm-hmm. they be like, you know what? I like everything going on. I'm gonna give you sixty. Per- I'm gonna I'm give you forty, and I'm taking sixty. Mm. Well, hold on, nigga. <laughs> this is my shit. <laughs> we ain't gonna be okay with that. So he's presenting the idea to Mike, adding some rules where he doesn't die. I don't know if you're gonna be wearing headgear and all of that, but it's like, all right, Mike, don't kill me. Mm-hmm. Let me get through this night. And you got twenty million. We good to go. We gonna build this up. We gonna entertain the fans, and we both gonna make a, a, a load of cash off this. You not with it? I need to know who's going to win. Where my man Thomas here? I need Thomas here doing the Mike Tyson. But I need to know who wins. Who That's, cares? They win. Mike need to know who wins, man. Win. You can't lose to a YouTuber. Who, you can't. I don't Mike care. Sixty. He's sixty and he Mike still can't lose to no YouTuber. See, cause you, cause you, you, you see, Mike Tyson, he let you down. He let you down years ago. You, so you don't want to let you down again. Like, like, at no. the end of the day, yeah, yeah. If it, if it ain't no win or no lo- if it ain't no win or no loser, they both walk away with a bag. They both won. Ask Roy Jones. Roy Jones said, "Oh man, you almost, you almost got me there. This was a part of the contract. Don't lay my ass out." <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 They want to listen. It, you know what this, this reminds me of? This this fight reminds me of the WWE. Okay, yeah, if, I if agree. If you ever thought WWE and boxing, this is it. This is going to be the closest thing that you get to scripted boxing. Mm, I want to know how many rounds it's going to be. Remember, in wrestling, every fight, they, they, there is points where. It, you know the action goes left to right. There's freestyles involved and all of that, but they know an outcome. They know how to carry one another. And Mike Tyson, don't get me wrong, he is an actor. He's been in several movies. Hmm. Okay. I still need so his name first. That. I need his name first. Wow. Cause man, it's Mike Tyson. That sound cute, but 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 in the business world, who you going with first? The, the money maker. I understand. Paul is the money man. And Paul can still have his name second. What difference would it make? Oh, so so, so what make what difference it makes for you? What pride are you saying? Real pride is pride is a hell of a hell of a drug, man. Yeah, yeah, pride is yeah. Be so yeah, yeah, yeah. Before pride comes destruction. So 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 because I want my name. First, what, what if he said, right, I'll give you your name first? Well, after pride comes destruction. I, I, I give you 18. How about that? Once you name the marquee name, I'll give you a little bit less. Mm-mm. Who cares? I need, I, I need, give me more money. I need more money and my name up there first. Oh, well, then, then he just skip past mm-hmm. your name. <laughs> Go fight he myself. He went to Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> 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 Oscar would have took whatever for some more coke money. <laughs> yo, yo, how you gonna allegedly, do, Oscar? Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Coca Cola, Coca Cola. Okay. Yeah. Coca Cola, Pepsi, Coca Cola, Coca Cola, pop, <laughs> pop. Yeah. yeah, that. I'm just saying, but that's all. You know, I just want you to get an understanding from a from a different mind because I know for a fact that the, this hardcore. The hardcore idea, yeah, I don't like this too much, but no. in the business world, this makes it makes all the most sense in the world. You, you, you're pulling an old guy, an old, old guy, not even an old guy, old, old guy, out the mud, come back. Mike Tyson been smoking weed on, on a couch for the last three years. <laughs> Talking about ayahuasca and toad venom and all that. Now, you, come on now. Now you want his name first, and you want him to get fifty-fifty splits. Come on, take it easy. Twenty million, come out. Hit me with some pillows. 
have some fun with the fans, and then we go home, sign autographs, make a little bit more money, and then you can smoke all the weed you want. Hmm. You're going to come out with his own strand. Tyson, you know and, what though? Tyson and uh, Jake, something. Wow. The, but the the sad part about it is the build up to this is going to be so entertaining because Mike Tyson is a professional compared to Ryan Garcia and and Haney. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, he know how to sell a fight. Just a, he understands that this is show business. You know, this is show business. Yeah. As fake as this fight might be. Mike Tyson has it hasn't shown any sign that he's not intense and locked in. Yeah, he's he, he's target. yeah he's making it seem like he really want to whip some ass. He's that's really the, he's he, he's saying. definitely doing that. Aunt McQueen said Tyson Paul OG. <laughs> the, the, the only thing is no no Diddy no Diddy though but Mike Tyson got a train with some pants on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't be feeling that at all, man. <laughs> What's the shorts on, man? No diddy on that. <laughs> Tell me that's not crazy to watch, though. Any 60, like, kind of. You wildin'. I think Mike, I think Mike does all that for the camera bro i think all that is engineered into what he's doing don't think he he ain't thinking of, of what he's doing he just holds so happily to just put these shorts on no i think all that shit is planned man the main, the main shorts <laughs> briefs and sneakers and socks is wild <laughs> Get off the, I'm gonna get off the line, but I hope y'all tap in today, man. Oh. Ten o'clock, meet me there. What you got going on We're at ten o'clock, man? Talk to us, man. What you got? Uh, we talking about religion and culture Ooh. in the in the in the space of sports. Forbidden taboo, yeah. That's forbidden taboo. Yeah, yeah. We touch on a little, a little Muhammad, Cassius Muhammad. Talk wow. Chris Jackson, wow. Mahmoud Abdul Raul, spoke on a little Kyrie, you know, how they was viewed by the public versus their iconism in, in the world. We also spoke about uh, comedy and, and the West Indian culture, space and comedy versus, you know, like Amer Americanized uh, forms of comedy and mm. stuff like that. And then, uh, Bashing the clashing is crazy this week. Mm. Crazy. So I hope everybody's there to enjoy this one because I put my foot in this one. And, and I did get clowned a little bit, you know. Yeah, hey, I, I seen know? that. I like, seen no, that. Yeah, all yeah, that yeah, talk yeah, you've been telling all good. that talk you've been yeah. telling us about how you ball so nice, bruh. I don't know. Don't don't that's what I'm saying. Take everything you hear with a grain of salt from this guy, man. Okay. He sound that's convincing. So, he sound cool. convincing. He is a comedian, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm they, 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 they present lies and jokes in, in very unique ways, I guess. Yeah, Maybe. but they say a lot of their jokes be real. Yo, 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 Jay. Yeah, Jay. yeah. We're not doing this. We're not doing this right now. Right? Yeah, we spoke I, about this before. I heard you. You told us all this thing about how you was the man on the court, yo, and. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This yeah. this guy from New York City telling us totally different, yo, on live television. Well, you'll get the truth. You'll get the truth at ten. How about that? All right, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. I'm with that. Y'all gonna have to check in. Y'all gonna have to check in at ten o'clock. Let's talk fashion to find out if Remo is a buster or not, yo. Making sure, <laughs> making sure we gonna start. We gonna start putting. We're gonna start putting dress codes on when you when you talk when you uh watching Let's Talk Fashion, man. <laughs> show me some fly fish. Show me your workout fish when y'all uh <laughs> watching the show and stuff like that. And then I'll fashion the clash in y'all asses and let y'all know whether y'all doing it right or not. How about that? Yeah, just don't show with no babuskas on y'all. And, and sweatpants. Yo, I'm out of here.
Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Fashion and classes, y'all. Don't miss it at 10 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. Remo's going to get clowned on this one, y'all. Y'all don't want to miss it, y'all. Y'all don't want to miss it. Yes, indeed. Right. No more babuskas. Exactly, man. <laughs> But definitely going to be an entertaining show. Hey, don't miss it. It's going to it's going to rock out at 10 a.m. Be there, be square. Grab up everything you're going to need. Kick back. I heard it's about 50 minutes long. No dick. <laughs> hey, I'm on the bull this morning, man. So y'all better enjoy it because you'll never hear it again. Yes, indeed, for sure. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the show. Just Do Boxing has entered into the building. What's up, Just Do? Good to see you. Four o'clock, Shorty, if you will. Definitely doing his thing. We also got Cash Sports, two o'clock, Shorty, in the building as well. Hey, hey, we got the, got the whole rundown today, man. The whole rundown. We got Remo at 10, Cash Sports at 2, Just Do at 4. I spin the block. At eight, I hand the baton off at a uh, uh, senior. He anchor leg, always the strongest leg, and we let we give it to senior, and he runs it in for the gold, man, for sure. So uh, y'all make sure that y'all tap in the day for the whole JP. Got nothing call, y'all. Talk to me quick before I forget. It's your boy Hardcore. Who is this? It's Cash Sports from Baltimore, home of the face of boxing. <laughs> what up, Cass? My brother only gets 15 minutes on his break, goddamn, Remo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little long-winded, wasn't he? A little long-winded, wasn't he? Yeah, man, I'm on my break. If he could come back after my break, oh, he did call you back, man. You did. You know? <laughs> What's happening? Man, just keeping life simple, man. Uh, you know, doing our thing as we normally do. I, I wonder what you yeah, think about so. this Jake Paul and Mike Tyson name being after Jake Paul. What do you feel about that? Uh, I would have put Mike first, but, you know, it's Jake's operation and everything, you know. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, I think Mike should have been first. I agree 100%. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, rough. Right, though. Yeah, he is. Yeah, it ain't going to affect the money, though. Nah, yeah. nah. Nah. Yeah. It might but even, still, it might even it's Mike should have been first. Yeah, Mike should have been first. All the time. Man was purposes. Boxing. Yeah. He, was, he was boxing before Jake Paul was born, man. You know? <laughs> yeah. But um, mm. it's, it's going to be just like Floyd and Logan, tricks, the draw, no knockout claws, all that stuff, you know? I think so. That's what I think. And I don't think yeah, we get I a winner. That, I think we get a draw too. They get us both hands in raised. Yeah. I mean, remember how Logan after he had a draw with Florida, he wanna go brag about oh I had a draw with Florida anyway. Mm-hmm. That's why those guys shouldn't do that agree to that nonsense, man. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Makes them look bad. Makes them look bad. I you agree. Know? I agree. I agree. Yeah. I guess they say you know what for twenty. I guess he say for twenty million, I look bad. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's the whole thing right there. Yep. Mm. Yeah, I I like seeing go in and knock him out cold. I would love it. But I like Jake though. I do. He's good for boxing, man. You know, and I was happy what he did for the women. He did what he did for the women made me happy. Yes. And you know, um, when he, when Amanda Serrano was scratched from that last card, they still had the card, but Jake gave everybody a 100% refund. Wow. Yeah. The Bob Father, Oscar, Eddie Heard wouldn't have gave nothing back because they still had the card, you know? That's right. Black, black, no trade back. But Jake? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jake gave everybody 100% refund on that, man. And that was big, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, because he knew he got this Mike Tyson thing coming up. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and you know, like Remo was saying, he's just filling the void that these acting boxes is leaving up, leaving there for him to fill. That's all those YouTubers are doing. Mm-hmm. You know, that is all. Yeah, they filled the void. Yeah, we let uh, them in. We let them in. That's all. That's right. That's exactly what happened. So we can't be mad. Be mad at these active guys for not giving us the fights we want. Mm-hmm. And these matchmakers and, and, and whoever. Mm. You know, they're thinking about dollars first instead of, you know, legacy and the fans. Mm-hmm. That's all it's going to come down to. Yeah. Yeah. But see, I got to get ready to run back in, but I just want to check in real quick. We appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Know? you we still have a uh, meeting at one Saturday. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Same bad time, same okay, bad channel. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. And salute to these great JBT supporters as usual. Because, you know, you're only as good as your supporters, right? Facts. Facts. Facts on that. Okay. Appreciate you, man. Without Let me get ready for this um, hashtag Let's Talk Fashion coming up in a, what, about, what 30 minutes. Yeah, and I definitely want to okay. say, man, I just appreciate all the hard work that you put in, too. Cash sports man and uh you know yeah educate us we to, appreciate uh, it we appreciate you trying to be worthy of my spot in the jbt you know alongside these other great channels like you and uh remo and the rise and just do and between just trying to make sure i keep up you know i know that's, that's right well you said it you said an excellent example we appreciate you okay i appreciate that yes Okay, and I will talk to everybody at two, and I'll see y'all over at Let's Talk Fashion. All right. In a little while. You take it easy, brother. Okay, talk to you later, Jay. Appreciate right. you, bro. All right, peace out, my brother. There it is, yes, y'all. Sir. Cash Sports in the building. Ooh. Two o'clock, shorty, if you will. Came up in here, man, and uh, gave us uh, some of that good knowledge that he always has for us, man, on a mature factor. And he agreed with the young fella, man, that uh, it's just business. It's just business. Even if us, as y'all call old heads, don't like it, you're dead. It is real, man. And uh, obviously, Jake is the bad. Jake's the bad. Jake's the bad. That's where we at, man. Jake's the bad. Other than that, man, uh, it's 9.30. I got to get things together, man, because I got to go grab my Madre. Got to pick her up from the airport. She'll be pulling in soon, so I need to get myself together and everything so uh, I can uh, holler at her. Other than that, it's your boy, Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News, and I'm out of here. Peace.